i anledning af FSC dag så læser Laura Riggs fra the, den gamle skole, The Lorax. At the far end of town where the grickle grass grows and the wind smells slow and sour when it blows and no birds ever sing excepting old crows is the street of the lifted Lorax. And deep in the grickle grass, some people say, if you look deep enough, you can still see, today, where the Lorax once stood, just as long as it could, before somebody lifted the Lorax away. What was the Lorax, and why was it there, and why was it lifted and taken somewhere from the far end of town where the grickle grass grows? The old Wantsler still lives here. Ask him. He knows. You won't see the Wantsler. Don't knock at his door. He stays in his lurkin on top of his door. He lurks in his lurkin, cold under the roof, where he makes his own clothes out of miff muffed moof. And on special dank midnights in August, he peeks out of the shutters, and sometimes he speaks, and tells how the Lorax was lifted away. He'll tell you, perhaps, if you're willing to pay. On the end of a rope, he lets down a tin pail, and you have to toss in 15 pence and a nail and the shell of a great-great-great-grandfather snail. Then he pulls up the pail, makes a most careful count, to see if you paid him the proper amount. Then he hides what you paid him away in his snuff, his secret strange hole in his grovulous glove. Then he grunts, I will call you by whisper, my phone, for the secrets I tell you are for your ears alone. Slap down slaps the whisper, my phone, to your ear, and the old monster's whispers are not very clear since they have to come down through a snurgily hose and he sounds as if he had smallish bees up his nose. Now I'll tell you, he says, with his teeth sounding grey, how the Lorax got lifted and taken away. It all started way back, such a long, long time back. Way back in the days when the grass was still green and the pond was still wet and the cows were still clean and the song of the swammy swans swung out in space. One morning I came to this glorious place, and I first saw the trees, the truffula trees, the bright-coloured puffs of the truffula trees, mile after mile in the fresh morning breeze.